most times when people talk about big data generically, they're talking about uh, big data in three ways. Big data, of course, means large volumes of data. Volumes of data that may be larger than even the largest data sets you have today within your corporation. So volume is one dimension of big data. Uh, but big, big data is also about a variety of data going beyond structured data to unstructured data sets, web logs, and, and so forth. And then big data is also about the velocity of data, streaming data, uh, data that comes in at a constant uh, stream, uh, growing data sets that are larger. Taken individually, each of these dimensions of big data are in fact uh, things that we can deal with in SQL Server today and already deal with in SQL Server today. I mentioned just a moment ago that our data warehouse can handle over 600 terabytes of data already. Uh, SQL Server can handle unstructured data as well as structured data, web log data. And uh, we have Stream Insight already built into the SQL Server Enterprise uh, to handle uh, data velocity. But many times when you hear people talking about big data, uh, they may also be talking very specifically about MapReduce, which is a computational pattern uh, having to do with uh, dealing with unstructured data, large volumes of un unstructured data across a distributed data store. Um, so oftentimes people will be talking very specifically about map reduce when they talk about big data. Um, and you'll hear here in a moment that Microsoft is also going to be uh, helping you deal with map reduce and some of the things that we do with Hadoop. Before I go to that, I want to point out that Microsoft has a unique perspective on big data. Unlike other um, data platform vendors, Microsoft is the only major vendor in the general database uh, field to be in the 100 petabyte club uh, of users of big data. For our online properties, big search engine, uh, for the uh, MSN portal, and for the Hotmail email service, we manage today over 100 petabytes, uh, 100 petabytes worth of data for our own use, adding to that set 8 petabytes a month of new data. Uh, and over 20,000 jobs a day. So we're well acquainted with big data as customers, uh, as well as now uh, vendors of big data technology. SQL Server is going to be integrated with Hadoop. You've heard of Hadoop. Hadoop is the open source uh, uh, solution for MapReduce. Um, and SQL Server uh, is going to invest to bring Hadoop onto the Windows Server platform and bring Hadoop onto uh, Windows Azure in the cloud so that it becomes enterprise grade, becomes part of your Windows platform, becomes integrated with Active Directory and SQL Server uh, and System Center. And so you will see us investing to bring Hadoop to the Microsoft stack. Summarizing then our big data strategy, uh, our first goal is to make big data enterprise ready. I talked about how that will be compatible with Windows Server and Windows Azure. We're going to use big data to help you connect to the world's uh, data. Already many companies in the retail business are looking at big data uh, outside of their company to evaluate social sentiment. We saw the Twitter feed going by earlier. Uh, there are large data sets in social media, uh, Twitter feeds, uh, Facebook and so forth, where you can, if you know how to uh, process, manage, and tap into that data, can get very valuable information about what the market is saying about your company, about your company's products, your company's position. And so being able to process big data gives you that insight and allows you to act upon it more rapidly than your competitors. Uh, and finally, our big data platform is going to be as committed as our current platform assets in helping you get assets to everybody and get uh, insights uh, from big data out uh, to the front lines of your company. To bring this to life, we're going to do a brief demonstration for you. And I'd like to invite myself, Westra, to the stage with me right now uh, to take you through a demo. Uh, big data, myself. <laughs> 